Caleb's personality is lively, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, he's, yeah, he's a very unique character. He's very, very playful with, with adults, loves, loves to interact with them, loves to play games, loves to play jokes. Um, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a lot of fun to be around. No. No. He told me he had a girlfriend. Mm-mm. You sure? Mm-mm. You're sure. Have you ever had a girlfriend? Mm-mm. We first became aware he was deaf, uh, age around about two. Prior to this, we had absolutely no idea, um, no idea whatsoever. So once we found out he was deaf, we started learning sign language, um, trying to find ways of communicate with him because he was getting very, very frustrated he, if, if he wanted something, he didn't know how to tell you he wanted it. Um, and then we went through the process of then getting cochlear implants for him, uh, which we felt as a family that was the right decision for us. It's not an overnight fix. Um, people think that you get a cochlear implant and your, your deafness is, is cured, is, you know, but, but it's not. He, he'll always be deaf. Um, and it's, it's a lot of work to get a cochlear implant to go through the process in the first place is, is a lot of work um, and afterwards it's, it's a lot of work after a lot of rehabilitation uh, communication exercises um, things that Caleb has to do things that we had to do as parents around about four years old he had his first go-kart for Christmas uh, he had a few goes in it and then he, he showed that he was a bit of a natural at it and he was getting better and better every time We have a lot of fun when we go racing. Um, it is a serious thing. When you spend a lot of money, it, it is serious. There's a lot of parents who tell you that there's no pressure, but there's always some element of pressure involved, especially when you go down route to sponsorship and, and uh, trying to make a career out of it. There's some parents who take it extremely serious, and you see some very, very upset kids. Um, but if he has a bad day, he has a bad day. There's not a lot you can do about that. You just got to learn from it and go th- go for the next one, hope for a better result. Do you enjoy racing? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you enjoy racing? Because it's fun. Because it's fun. Anything else? Um. Slippery on rain. Well driven, 15 laps. Caleb. Uh, his final finish w- was third. Uh, they, they did a little bit different to what we used to. They do a grid start. We're not used to a grid start. Bless him, every time he started, he would lose a couple of places, but he always got his places back. So ev- wherever he started from, he would finish there. But I couldn't have asked for better him for, 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 for that weekend. He, he really did really well. <laughs> Caleb has proven to himself, to, to, to me, to, to, my, to our family um, and to everybody that, that sees him and, and hopefully he's proven to, um, to, to, to parents of children who've recently been diagnosed as being deaf. Um, hopefully he's proven to them that actually they can do it. You know, don't, don't think they can't because whatever they want to do, that they can do it. It's only the, the mis 
misconceptions and, and the wrong ideas of, of the world around him that stops him from doing it. So I'm, I just hope he, he can prove to everybody that, yeah, you can do it.